Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Ready or Not video. In this video, we're going to be diving into a modification showcase featuring various different modifications for Ready or Not that I believe to be the most realistic and immersive. Now, some of these mods may be more or less preference and opinionated over what's actually realistic or immersive to some people. However, for the most part, this is based off of what I believe is realistic and what makes the game the most realistic and immersive to me. Also, this is based off of the idea focusing around law enforcement SWAT teams, especially teams like LAPD SWAT, where the game is fictionally set in with Los Suenos SWAT. Note that not all of the modifications that I am currently using are being showcased in this video. Only the ones that I believe are absolutely essential to making your game look as realistic and immersive as it can be with what is currently available. Starting off here with the LAPD SWAT reskin. This is a 4K textured overhaul for the SWAT team. This mod has been around for quite some time now and has been consistently updated since its full release. You'll notice there are multiple variations to the SWAT vest, insignias, and patches, also the shirt styles. Moving on from there, in order to make your game feel believable and immersive, you have to have realistic style voice lines. As much as I do enjoy the vanilla voice actors, I feel like having a fresh voiceover pack for the SWAT team and talk certainly adds to the overall immersion of the game. I am using Real Police Yells, which replaces voice lines for every operator except for Judge and Prescott. Put the gun down! Drop the gun! Gun, 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 gun! Drop the fucking gun! Put your hands up, drop it! Drop the gun! He's dry. Hey, hey, don't do it! Do not reach for that gun! Now, for Judge, I'm using alternative American SWAT lines. SWAT, put your hands up! Get down! Put your hands up and get down! Hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up and get down! On your knees now! Get down! Hands in the air! On the ground now! And for Prescott, I'm using aggressive voiceover. Drop your fucking weapon! Drop it or I'll fucking shoot you! Drop it, I won't say it again! Drop your weapon and get your hands up! Drop your weapon, get your hands up! Put the fucking gun down now! Drop your weapon now! For my talk overhaul, I'm currently using Rico's immersive talk. I just, I just want to go home. Actual entry team. I've got a cuffed civilian who's ready for evac. I can't feel my hands. Entry team to Axe Roll. Please, I've got a dead civilian here. I really do like this voice mod pack. However, one thing that consistently bothers me about this is that it does kind of sound like an NYPD radio, which doesn't necessarily line up with the LAPD aesthetic. However, I will say it is much better quality than the, a lot of the other talk mods that are available. Now, next we've got a big one. This mod is called Gunfighter. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the details as to what Gunfighter provides. So there is a link in the description for you guys to check it out for yourselves and get a more detailed rundown. However, there's a lot here. Essentially, Gunfighter Fighter implements a lot of realistic features overhauling firearms, armor, ammo, equipment slots, and much more. One thing you'll notice right away is that Gunfighter has a unique first-person view model which looks especially nice compared to the vanilla view model. With that, the yelling animation is completely removed which is something I've wanted for a long time. Another unique feature is the ability to have a taser along with your sidearm which is extremely realistic and accurate due to officers always having both. And with that, the ability to have NVGs with any face equipment. Moving on, we've got another big overhaul mod, SWAT and Suspects AI Overhaul. Now, again, I'll have the links below so you guys can go through and thoroughly read through all the fine details. However, essentially, this mod overhauls the SWAT and Suspect AI to make it more realistic. The mod contains multiple configs, which gives you the option of having things like extra enemies, no traps throughout all the missions, a terrorist hunt mode, which removes civilians, and combined mods of this type. This mod also makes makes a SWAT AI more alert and they aren't as clunky. However, I haven't really seen much evidence of this so far. In this mod, there are multiple behavior changes. Things like suspects being more likely to hesitate depending on the level and enemy type, more likely to grab hostages, more likely to take cover and hide, as well as more likely to surrender when suppressed or see a dead comrade. There are more roamers and they've added unarmed suspects throughout all the levels. And the list goes on and on from there. And that's only a little bit 
of what's overhauled. I definitely recommend checking it out for yourself. The mod really does change the AI gameplay experience with the suspects. I can't say so much about the SWAT. I haven't gotten to play it for that long yet. Next, we've got Ragdoll's Return. Now, this mod has been around for a bit and it overhauls the current Ragdoll system in the game. If you remember, Ready or Not had an update a while back which added in death animations and some of these animations will completely override Ragdoll. This mod fixes that and makes the suspect's death look more believable. Moving on, we've got a mod called Tappy. Now, Tappy gives you the ability to tap or squeeze your teammate's shoulder or back in co-op to increase the overall realism factor. In real life, SWAT officers will utilize this squeeze or tap to indicate to their team member that they are ready to begin clearing a room. This tactic has been used for a long time by many tactical teams. Currently, Ready or Not does not offer this feature in vanilla, and this gives you the ability to now indicate when you're ready to go into a room rather than shouting over the microphone over your other operators. Now, we're going to move on and talk about some reskin or remodel mods. In my hundreds of hours of Ready or Not, I have gone through quite a few different reskins and remodels as I love to have a variety and change things up from time to time. Here are some mods that I've always gone back to. This mod right here, the Clone Correct LA5 with the Surefire M 600 v This mod adds the cosmetic look of a laser device on the rail while utilizing a flashlight. One thing I hate is how in Ready or Not you can't use both a laser and a flashlight or a white light. SWAT teams almost always have a laser device and a white light attachment to their rifles. With this mod it gives you that immersive look to your firearm. I will note though that this modification does sort of mess up a few different rifles with the flashlight and the laser so you do have to kind of play around and see what works best for you and the flashlight may not be an option for a few different rifles due to the fact that the animations are sort of messed up and the placement just isn't right. Other than that, it's a really good mod. Now you can also do the reverse of utilizing a flashlight. You can also utilize the laser while having the flashlight as the cosmetic. So you can have the same device set up, just not at the same time, obviously due to game restrictions. Next, we've got the EOTech HWS XPS Series Black. This mod changes the default vanilla EOTech, giving you a high quality realistic EOTech holographic site. Moving on with the Hollow Sun HS503CU. This mod replaces the basic red dot sight with a realistic Hollow Sun red dot. You can notice the quality difference as well as the sight picture improvement. Another great modification that I've been using for quite some time is the better red dot reticle and brighter and larger dot modification. This mod makes the vanilla red dot larger and brighter for better target acquisition. It also makes it so you can actually see your dot in brighter maps. Moving on, we have the PEQ-15 for the CQB laser. This mod replaces the generic looking physical laser device with a PEQ-15. It's also on the right side rail of your rifle. This mod right here is called Invisible Equipment, which hides the mirror gun on your back for extra realistic and immersive simulation operations. In real life, this mirror gun device isn't actually used by SWAT teams. The snake cams exist, but as far as I know, mirror guns do not exist and are not used by SWAT. Due to it being unrealistic, I don't use it in my simulation group, and we hide the equipment on our backs when we are not using other breaching devices. This makes our characters look much more realistic and immersive, and you can't just simply remove back items as it's not an availability in the game. Lastly, we've got the Black Weapons mod, which essentially changes all firearms that have a tan handguard or any type of tan grips. This mod will change all of the tan looking aesthetic to black. 
the black handguards and grips give a better SWAT or law enforcement aesthetic due to most SWAT teams not utilizing the more military style look. That's going to be everything right there. Those were quite a few modifications to go through and showcase for you guys. Let me know down in the comments your opinions on these mods. This video did take quite a long time to go through and edit. There was a lot of mods to go through here, but I didn't want to do just a few mods. I wanted to go through all of them so you guys can see my reasonings for running all of these realistic type mods. If you did find a mod that you downloaded and you wanted to use in your game, I would appreciate if you'd like and subscribe to the channel. Any additional modifications that I was using in this video will be down in the description as well for you guys to check out. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video.